All right, guys, just wanted to do a quick video for you guys and get you started here on the Binance Smart Chain Network. If you are interested in doing that, I've had a couple of people ask me about how to get started. If you're familiar with farming on uh, Uswap or farming on you know other TRX or even Ethereum network type of uh, platforms, this is gonna be very familiar with the exception of maybe just a few little things. So let's jump right into it, guys. This will be a short video, of course. It goes without saying that anything you do in the crypto space is gonna be super risky. So only put in what you can afford to lose. And of course, do your own research, guys. So that being said, <clears throat> uh, let's jump right into it. Of course, I did a video earlier today. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. Um, this is a cool little uh, website here, yieldwatch.net, where you can actually track all the different farms you're in and the different platforms that you're in. So right now we have um, about 83 plus thousand dollars in different farms over on BSC. Um, and we calculated it, it's about 11 or $1,200 per day that we are earning right now. Now, of course, that's gonna fluctuate. The APY does change. So it's not a hard number, um, but based on what we're getting right now, that's kind of what we're going to be getting. So again, um, this is super risky, guys. Obviously, don't do what I'm doing. I'm I'm a super risk taker. If you've been on my channel for any time, you probably already know that. So you may not want to do what I'm doing. You might want to sit this out and just kind of watch from the sidelines. But if you are going to get in, again, only put in risk Capital. So first thing you got to do is you got to go ahead and download your wallet, very much like MetaMask or TronLink, for you to interact with these farms. You do need to have your um, your wallet, which is right here. So the way you get that wallet, of course, there's a lot of different scam wallets out there. So be careful. We're just going to go right to Binance.org and go straight away to the Binance Chain Wallet extension. It's an extension on Chrome, as you can see. You can also download it onto Brave, I believe. Um, but if you're on Chrome and you've already downloaded MetaMask or TronLink, you probably already know how this works. So you'll go ahead and install it. Now, again, it's a regular wallet. You could go ahead and install it like you would any other wallet. It's going to give you your, uh, your, your, your seed words. Make sure you write that down in a very important, um, you know, put it somewhere that's <laughs> that you would keep all your important documents that way you don't lose it because if you lose it you're not going to be able to access your wallet if something were to happen so again make sure you write down your password and those keywords um, because again that's very very important so go ahead and set up your wallet they're going to ask you for um you know what's your third i think it's your third sixth or ninth word um, so go ahead and input that and once you input that, you're going to have your wallet downloaded and it's going to look just like this. Okay. Now, in order for you to interact with these farms, you do need to get some BNB. So, again, go to your favorite exchange. I don't know what exchange you like to use. There's a bunch of them that you can use out there. Um, if you don't know where to go, you can go to Simple Swap. Simple Swap is a, it's an exchanger where you can take you know, crypto that you have and exchange it for any other crypto. So for example, if you have um, Bitcoin, right? You can just type in here one Bitcoin, and then you would put in here BNB. So one Bitcoin will get you 355 BNB. Um, let's say you only wanted to put in maybe a quarter of a Bitcoin. So you would put there a quarter of a Bitcoin and it'll tell you what the equivalent it is for BNB, okay? So if you wanna use Bitcoin, you can do that. If you wanna use TRX, if you wanna use Ethereum, whatever you have, okay? If you wanna use Tron, you can do that. Okay, so whatever um, crypto you have, you can swap it over for BNB. And you're gonna to need to put the recipient address, your BNB wallet address. So right here, okay? So your Binance Chain Network wallet address is what you're gonna to need to put in SimpleSwap, okay? So you can copy this right here. The way you know it's the right address is it starts with BNB, as you can see right here, okay? So again, you're gonna be, um, 
sending it over to your Binance Chain Network wallet. Okay, so you would go ahead and like copy that. Obviously, use your wallet address. Then you'll go ahead and hit exchange and then send over your TRX, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever that you're using. If you've used Changely before or you know other swapping sites, you probably are very familiar with how this works. After it gets confirmed, you'll have your BNB sent straight away to your wallet. Okay. Now here's the important part. Here's the part where it's a little bit different. Um, you're gonna want to set up your uh, BNB wallet inside of your MetaMask. Okay. Because a lot of these farms ask for your MetaMask wallet. At least this is how I do it. Of course, there's other ways if you want to, uh, you know, figure out some other ways you can do that. But this is what I do. So. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your MetaMask wallet, okay? And you're going to go ahead and set up your Binance Smart Chain right here, network, okay? So what you're going to do, if you don't, obviously you're not going to have that set up yet. I already have it here so I can switch it over and switch over to the Binance Smart Chain network and I can toggle back and forth from the Ethereum network to the Binance Smart Chain network. If you don't have that set up, what you're going to do is, oops, you're going to go to, uh, you're going to click this right here, and you're going to go to settings. Then under settings, you're going to click on networks. And then obviously you're not going to see this because it's not set up yet. You're going to click on add network, okay? So here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and set up, um, you know, the network name, Binance Smart Chain. You're going to have you're going to have to fill out this information. Let me show you what mine looks like, um, and then what I'll do is I'll I'll actually have what you need to fill out here. I'll have it down below in the description box. Matter of fact, um, if you open up the description box right now, you should be able to see it. Um, all you got to do is copy and paste um, what I have in the description box and put it right here, and then once you have it. You click on save and then you'll be good to go. What will happen is you'll be able to see Binance Smart Chain right here. So when you click on it, that's what you're going to see. Um, let me move this box over. Yeah, settings. So when you go here, you're gonna see Binance Smart Chain right here. You can click that. And then now you have your BNB wallet set up in MetaMask, okay? So what you're gonna do from this point here, because again, you have your BNB sitting in your wallet right here for Binance Chain Network. What you're gonna do is you're gonna send your BNB over to your MetaMask, okay? Now the address is gonna be same as your Ethereum. Like if you've used MetaMask for Ethereum, it's the same exact address. Okay, so you're gonna click that. So assuming you have BNB in here that you've got from SimpleSwap or whatever exchange, you're gonna click send, you're gonna put address. And you're gonna see here, it's gonna say cross chain transfer to Binance Smart Chain. If you wanna switch it over to the Binance Smart Chain, um, your Binance Smart Chain wallet over on MetaMask. Okay. You're going to click on max or however much BNB you want to you want to send over. And then you're going to click on send. Once you click on send, it's pretty quick. It's like a couple of seconds. You'll have your BNB sent over to your MetaMask and you should see it right here. And then from there, you are good to go. It's going to work just like you know, you're, you're uh, farming on Tron or you're farming on Ethereum. Once you have your Binance Smart Chain right here, you have BNB. And again, keep some BNB for some fees as you do transactions, obviously. You'll be able to go on some of these other farming sites now and pretty much do, you know, your farming just like you do on other sites. Like if you're farming on Uswap or something like that, this is going to be very, very familiar because again, you do need to add liquidity. And uh, once you get your liquidity tokens, you would go ahead and stake them. So for example, let me just give you a quick example. If you don't know what I'm talking about. 
let's say you want to start staking here in the cake BNB liquidity pool, you would take your BNB that you have in your wallet, trade, exchange, or whatever amount you have in BNB, you take half of it and you go ahead and get cake. Okay, so you would get half of it because again, you need to have equal parts when you're adding liquidity, right? So once you get yourself some cake, and again, you already have some BNB, you go to liquidity, add liquidity, then you would put in equal parts, just put in max, I guess. Then from there, you have to wait until, um. Uh, you'll, you'll see a couple things pop up here. Again, again, it's not popping up here because I don't have any here in this particular wallet. Um, but you'll go ahead and <clears throat> approve anything. Any, anytime it says approve, just approve it. Then you'll click on supply. And then after a couple of seconds, you'll have your cake BNB liquidity pool tokens. All you got to do is go to farms. You would have to approve of the contract. Wait a couple of seconds. Once it's approved, you can go ahead and stake your tokens right here. You would click on plus. But your uh, LP tokens would be showing up right here. You can just click on max, confirm. A couple of seconds later, boom, you are farming cake. So that's how it would, how it would work on pancake swap. Okay. Um, of course, there's a couple different pools that you can jump into. Some of these are higher APY pools, some of them are lower. Just understand, guys, there is a permanent loss. So if these tokens, the token pair, if one of these tokens in this pair, whatever pair you're in, if the price, you know, if there's a lot of volatility in those prices, those, those uh, tokens may get hit with some permanent loss. So just be aware of that. Not okay with that, don't even just don't even get in. Um, you have to be okay with that. For me, of course, I get hit with impermanent loss too, but I just keep staking and keep farming. And what happens is it just balances out. And I always find that it, it comes back, comes back up. So um, yeah, there's a couple of different farms. There's um there's this is pancake swap, obviously. This is probably the most reputable one. Um, there's um, a couple of other ones I'm not in yet, but this is another one, Auto Farm. This is uh, JetFuel.Finance. I just jumped into this one with 10K. Um, you see I'm farming fuel, right? Um, so again, do your own research, guys. Do your own due diligence. I'm not really here to go into how these platforms work or what these tokens are or you know what the prices are do that research on your own basically the whole purpose of this particular video was just to show you how to get your wallet how to set it up how to get some bnb if you don't have some, if you don't have some already and how you uh would go ahead and integrate it with your metamask wallet so again down below i'll leave um what you need to put uh, in the custom fields and uh, that's pretty much it. What I do is I typically leave BNB that I want to put into these farms, BNB that I'm holding for the long term. I usually hold that. I usually hold that on a separate wallet. So again, that's just something that I do. You can do your own thing. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, I didn't confuse you too much. If you have any questions? Hit me up over on Telegram. Um, I'll leave my Telegram link down below in the video, in the description box. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have to rewind and rewatch the video again, because I know I'm talking pretty fast, uh, go ahead and do that. It should be uh, you know, pretty straightforward and simple. All right. So that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.